Hello my friends, I hope you're having a lovely day, and in today's video we're going to talk about the upcoming Nintendo Direct. There's been a lot of speculation in recent weeks, fans were like, you know, it feels like it's about time for a Nintendo Direct, and that feeling was spot on, because Nintendo confirmed a Direct for September 4th, 2019. It will be airing at 6pm East Coast time, and it's a whopping 40 minutes long. That is somewhere around the length of Nintendo's E3 2019 presentation, so this sucker is big. We're going to get uh, new information on games we already know about. I'm sure there's going to be some titles we didn't even know were coming to Switch uh, that are going to get announced during this Direct and all kinds of fun stuff. So let's talk a bit about the things that we can expect to see, as well as some speculation on what might be there. Let's talk about the things that are 100% confirmed so far. There's not a lot, but we do know that this is going to focus on 2019 Switch titles. That doesn't mean that that's the only thing we're going to see. We can see games for next year, but it's going to focus on 2019 titles. We also know in particular there's going to be coverage on Pokemon Sword and Shield and Luigi's Mansion 3. Those two games are confirmed for the presentation. Obviously, those two are launching this year. They're two very big titles for Nintendo, so of course they're going to pay attention to them. All right, now that we have the confirmed stuff out of the way, let's get to what the speculation is. Obviously, when it comes to rumors and speculation, don't trust anything. Some of it is just talk. Some of it is actually a leak, and we won't know that until the presentation airs, but there's a good amount of stuff in there. First things first, we had the Overwatch quote-unquote leak. If you don't know, uh, Power A, which is an accessory manufacturer, uh, apparently has an Overwatch case in the works for Switch, and that was posted on Amazon and then quickly taken down. Why on earth would you make an Overwatch case for the Switch unless Overwatch was coming to the Switch? Obviously, uh, it's not a confirmation, but it certainly points to, or is some sort of indicator of, a good chance that Overwatch is coming to the Switch. This is something fans have wanted for a while now. This is something that's been talked about numerous times, and it seems like it might be happening. So that seems like a very good candidate for tomorrow's Nintendo Direct. Also, just a few hours ago, we had the leak of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag and Assassin's Creed Rogue Remastered in a collection for the Switch. This came from a Greek retailer that put up a listing for the game. Word spread on that listing, and then the retailer took it down. Um, we've had Ubisoft Switch leaks before, and they were for Assassin's Creed games, so to see it happen again is not surprising. Again, not confirmation, but among the things that are less or more likely, I would think this collection of Assassin's Creed games games is pretty likely. Again, another good candidate for something we'll see tomorrow in a Direct. Of course, it wouldn't be a Direct without some sort of Smash Brothers Ultimate content, and it would be very surprising not to see a reveal of the next fighter, the next DLC fighter for Smash Brothers Ultimate. Not confirmed, but uh, Sakurai himself is on Twitter saying, you know, it's direct, uh, it's direct day, let's keep an eye out, so he's pumped up for the event. We know that there's more fighters coming, we know that they have to be revealed, we have an idea that Banjo and Kazooie are coming to the game very soon, so perhaps we'll get a launch trailer for Banjo Kazooie and then a teaser trailer for the next DLC character we shall see but uh, among all the things that are speculated upon for tomorrow's Nintendo Direct I'd say this is one of the most probable then you have the collection of games that are confirmed for Switch. We know they're coming this year, and they'll likely get covered in the Direct in some ways. There's games like Nino Kuni, Demon X Machina, uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, whatever, whatever, Link's Awakening, Ori and the Blind Forest, uh, Witcher 3, Doom Eternal, Dragon Quest XI, things like that. I think all of those are very likely to at least get some sort of mention in the Direct, maybe in a sizzle reel, maybe features of their own, but yeah, I don't think anybody would be surprised to see those in there. Finally, it wouldn't be any fun to talk about an upcoming Nintendo Direct without uh, discussing the pie in the sky hopes for the Direct, things that you are hoping are there, but have a slim chance of being there. Uh, things like Bayonetta 3, we know that's coming to the Switch, we know development is going well, but we haven't really seen anything since the initial uh, trailer showcasing that the game was in development for the Switch. It would certainly be nice to see a little bit more on that game, although there's probably no chance, I would say definitely no chance it's coming to Switch this year. Uh, same case for Metroid Prime 4, we know development got restarted on that game not all that long ago. So expecting to see anything in the direct of, of substance is probably uh, not something we should expect, but, you know, maybe a little bit of an update, maybe uh, a piece of artwork or something like that, that would be great. 
Uh, there's been talk for a while now or rumors of uh, Super Nintendo games coming to the Switch Online service. So along with your NES games, you get Super Nintendo games. Uh, there's been some rumors with some interesting evidence in there. Nothing definitive, but uh, it would be lovely to see that tomorrow because I know a lot of people want to see that service expanded and would love the chance to get in on some Super Nintendo games. So that'd be great. Uh, there's also been talk of more Nintendo Labo stuff. Perhaps there's a new Nintendo Labo kit in the works. We've heard a couple rumors that there's at least one more Nintendo Labo related thing uh, to showcase, so maybe that will happen tomorrow. There's always the hope for a new IP. Uh, Nintendo is always working on all kinds of new stuff. Will we see something tomorrow? I don't know. Uh, just today, there was some discussion of perhaps a uh, Wii Sports collection that could come to the Switch. Again, there's really no 100% proof there of that, or anything even close, but a bundle of Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort uh, put together for the Switch would be fun. I think that'd be uh, a really cool uh, bit of nostalgia because a lot of people are uh, still looking for that kind of experience on the Switch and 1-2-Switch didn't really do it for them, so diving back into those titles maybe revamped in some way would be a lot of fun. Certainly the Joy-Con ha can handle those games, so uh, that would be neat to see. And then there's a whole bunch of other crazy rumors out there, so uh, we'll find out what's going to happen for sure in less than 24 hours because, like I said, the Direct is at 6 p.m. East Coast Coast time and we'll have 40 minutes where we can all sit together and watch and see what happens and, and complain about it afterwards all right my friends that's today's video thanks for watching liking subscribing and commenting it's very much appreciated also a huge thank you to our patreon members thank you for supporting me on patreon you guys supporting me there allows me to do what i do go nintendo.com the videos the twitter the facebook the podcast all that stuff your support is greatly appreciated i'm extremely humbled by your support if you want to learn more about the patreon hit up the link in the description below but as for today that's it i'll be back tomorrow with some kind of video i really have no idea what it'll be about depending on what goes on with the direct but i'll have something so until then have a lovely day and a lovely evening and i'll see you in a few short hours